independent dance pop recording artist from Vancouver, Canada. He's here with a new album, The Lonely Show. Please welcome Thomas Donovan. Hey, how are you? Good to welcome, nice welcome. Good to see you. Thanks. you first realize you wanted to be in the music business? I, I guess I just knew all along. I was one of those little kids who skipped out of school, went home, played records, and, you know, pretended I was the star. You know. who, who are your idols? Who, who inspires you? I don't have any idols. Really? Putting on your favorite record, what it's, was it? It's the songs. It, the it's songs. It's always the songs, yeah. I don't remember who sings them. In the 1990s, Canadian recording artist Thomas Donovan had a top 10 hit on his hands with his debut single, Total Controller. <laughs> Recording artist and human rights activist Thomas Donovan. Uh, how so? You you are a big activist. How did you get started? <laughs> very big, very yeah, big in in Canada, if you will. How did you, how did you get started uh, being involved in that? Well, I wanted to find a way to sort of mix my music talents in with things I care about in the community. Right. And uh, there was a big demonstration that took place in Vancouver, as you're probably aware, Canada just uh, legalized same-sex marriage last year. Right. There were thousands of people demonstrating against gay marriage, and I had written this song about, you know, promoting, you know, the yeah. gay community. Yes. And so I got my media friends together, and we sort of went in the middle of this group of all of these anti-gay demonstrators, and I just started singing my song, and everybody came in with their signs, shaking right. their signs, and it created the whole tension and, and the struggle that I think we've been through. It's a two-way street, two harmony avenue, you got acceptance for me, I got acceptance for you. about the documentary um, that you produced and directed. Everything from Pierre Trudeau's famous comment, you know, our, our prime minister who said the state has no place in the bedrooms of the nation from the 60s mm -hmm. to all of these activist demonstrations and things that have happened to present days. It was really great putting that together. The homosexuality. Yes, I am gay. Thirty-fifth anniversary of Stonewall. You need to keep up that great work, and we need more people like you. So we applaud you. Vancouver, British Columbia, the top dance sounds of Thomas Donovan. His music's played on uh, many varied radio stations, and he's got uh, incredible support from his audience. Thomas Donovan. I was in a band a number of years ago, and I found it difficult to juggle the egos and get everybody together at the same time. And once I got involved with MIDI instruments and sequencing, I just found I could accomplish so much on my own that I dropped the band and. Um, I've been a solo performer and uh, singer, arranger, producer kind of guy ever since. I've been writing music all my life. Just started recording music over the last 10 years. Got three CDs out. Digital Dreams was the first one. The second one was called Trance in '96, and then the last one was One Moment to Fly. But I've done a series of singles as well. Yeah. 
you had had some success in the States and uh, you've done a tour in Germany. So uh, what are your future plans? Just keep doing what I'm doing. I write music for me. You know, it's my therapy. It's my healing process. Thomas goes through a you know a life crisis or you know crash and burn relationship and then writes a song to get over it. Yeah, how do you actually turn it into to music and lyrics? And well, it starts with some sort of a hook, whether it's a, uh, just a phrase or it's a drum beat in your head. You know, you just sort of start on something that really hooks into your head and you just can't get rid of it. Then you know it's, it's something catchy. <laughs> Usually, it's an experience that happens in your life and. Often it's the the sad things or things that happen that are kind of a surprise or like a relationship breaking up or the passing of somebody that will really trigger a lot of creative energy in in my mind anyway. I think it works for a lot of artists that way. The tone upon well, that's just a fact. I love you so bad, but you know what's good for you. You stole my heart, I want it back. What I do is I use synthesizers and sequencers and computers, so I book into a local MIDI lab that has all that equipment, because obviously buying all that stuff is, is redundant. You know, as soon as you buy it, it's not worth anything. Exactly. So I'd rather just invest the money in producing the music. I think your personality really picture. comes through this photograph as you ended your beautiful ballad <laughs> with... <laughs> I was going to wear my little flight hat, you know, and fly in here. But... <laughs> now, this is why Americans just always go, yeah, you guys all live in igloos up there, eh? <laughs> That's the reason right there. It's because of you, Thomas. <laughs> I tend to compose the songs on the piano, take them into the studio, and then start breaking it down and working out each track. Do you ever think that if you get really famous, suddenly you'll have like total groupies after you? And do you look forward to that? No. Little girls chasing you and screaming? Um, I sort of look more at the music than the artist, and I'm not really a starstruck kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I remember songs from the past, I don't really remember who really sings them, mm -hmm. so you know, it's, I hope people remember the songs, you know, when they think, you know, that Total Controller song, or Color Code, or whatever, I feel like I'm the, I'm the messenger, and you know, the music belongs to the universe. Controller, 